What up, Queen Squad? It's your boy, Captain Quain. Uh, so we're doing a multi-part series on No Time. So if you haven't seen part one, go watch part one. It's actually really, really good. The mechanics of this game are really solid. Basically, the game is a time travel game, and uh, it succeeded a lot of my expectations as far as the mechanics go. Going into time, you know, back in the future, uh, you know, back in the past, future, future. <laughs> It's really, really cool. Landscape changes, all of that. It's got really, really solid mechanics. Obviously, there's some things that I would love for the game to incorporate. Um, and eventually, it would be nice to have like a full-blown, like very defined art style. Because right now, I feel like it's not really defined. Story is not bad, but it's, it's still very, very early, I think. Anyways, also, if you like this type of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button. Send me a comment of an independent game that you like would like to see me review on the channel. Also, I want to bring awareness to independent games, so I'll be linking the uh, actual games on the description below. So if you want to go and support the creators of these games, go do that. It's going to be on the description. Go try some. Some of them are out for free. Some of them are paid, obviously. Um, but usually the independent studios aren't very expensive. I haven't seen like, I don't know, be 20 bucks or less, I would say. Anyways, if you enjoy the content, again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get on with the video. 0700 hours. And enter. All right. Just want to make sure. 1795. December 21st. Behind the 612 store. Hold on, where's, where's the 612 store? Behind the 612 store. Hold on, let's go there first. Move out of my way, compadre. I think it's this, this is the store, right? Yeah, that's the store behind it. Okay, so here... All right, let's just, uh, first, I gotta, I gotta get rid of the Darth Vader. Darth Vader is driving me nuts. Undress. Thank you. Pop the hood and drop it in there. All right. All right, now we're ready. Let's, uh, engines. Where's the light? Okay, there we go. Reactor on. Everything on. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, we are. There's nothing here. Okay, hold on. Dude, okay, that is really cool. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go by foot, but this is a totally different place. They should be in a cave not far from here. If you go past the hill and the river behind my homestead, heading south, you'll enter a flat valley. You will spot a huge rock shaped like the front of a ship. Okay. You get I buy something I have I have no monies we're in this banded cavern <laughs> boom give me give me the watch okay, I'm going in give me the watch. <laughs> Wait, okay, there's a time fragment here. A crystal. Pick up. Okay, we got we got the clock now. The clock that we needed. The question is, and this is an ethical question. Do I go back? And give it to the old timer. Or do I go back to 2014? 
if there's a statement here to where I'm going to give him kudos. If I give him the watch and the story kind of changes, I'm going to add a freaking point to this review. Like instead of an eight, it will go to a nine or instead of a seven, it will go to an eight. Cause that would be pretty cool. I'm not going to lie, but let's see. Let's see. It all comes down to this right here. I have it. I have it right here. Here. Drop. Alright, you got it. You're a moral. Thanks. You're welcome. You know what? Take this key. It opens the door behind the house. Some glowing or maybe you can make something out of it. Oh, and if you want to take a look into the stars, the key will also open my little observatory on top of the hill. Okay, let's go into let's go here. We need that ore to make more canisters. Figure out how to how to get more uranium. <laughs> How do we turn the ore? Can I? What am I supposed to do? Hold on, let's read the physics book. Worst case scenario, you got no reactor or fuel cell. If your reactor is inserted, remove it. Rotate the crank in the slot manually till it caps. Hold on. You've got no reactor or fuel cell. This is this is the uh, time travel for dummies. <laughs> if your reactor is inserted, remove it. Rotate the crank in the slot manually till the caps reach 100%. It's going to take a while. Shuddy. Shuddy, you're fine. What's the percentage? 100%. Okay, we're at 100% now. Okay, good. But let's put back the... Uh, where is it? Three. Oh shoot! Okay, we're 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 in. We're in. We're going. Oh shoot! Where am I? Cool it off. Hey, buddy. If you return before the quest NPC has talked to you, he won't respond to you. You need to be back in the exact right time. What do you mean? No, 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 no. Once they with oh, did I put the wrong? Did I put the wrong date? Okay, it's not. It's not time yet. It's barely seven thirty-one. Okay. These guys have been staring out in the sun a lot too. Little creepy. Oh, they're just looking at me. Classic one, the old man meets his other self scenario. Well, avoid yourself, remember? The character's post self recognizes his future self. Oh, shoot, dude! No way! Okay, so we saw Arthur. At a specific time, our future self that went in there at the same time, thus causing a parallel continuing. I don't, that's wow, that's pretty darn cool. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we got we have to wait 
for my future self to talk to him, get out of there, and then come back. Okay, that is crazy.